hello guys welcome back to my another youtube video today i'll be showing that how to create such kind of videos especially on the camera moments specific camera moments like this so without wasting time let's go into the video so today i'm going to use photoshop and my subject is car where i haven't generated a, an image from mid journey and it's not necessarily that you need an ai image you can also use any raw photo image which is even shot on a camera or even your personal phone and the subject can be anything i use care car you can use any characters like a human body or even animal like dog or cat or anything the main core of this video is to how to control the camera angles or camera shots uh, like panning tilting uh, we'll be sh we'll be seeing that in the tool the ai tool which we are going to use so let's start with the photoshop so in this uh, you would have seen in the video on the intro which i use this car image where there are a few corrections then i use this generator expand using photoshop and the top part and the bottom part and i got it like this i adjust a few things on the tires on the generated one which had a few missing parts on the back wheel and the front part of the tire rim looks odd uh so i just replaced with it and there's no driver of course that I don't want to mess it up or make it too complex so uh, this is all good to go so let's dive into the AI tool which is runway ML so you would have been seeing my recent video on generating few visual effects on the car similarly this is just I'm not here to explain what is visual effects if you want to know about that just I will pin that on, on comments too uh you guys can explore that how to create visual effects using runway ml is just basic prompts so of course this runway ml is not free for after five to ten generation of videos i'm not sure i just completely forget but you can just sign up with multiple emails so you can just generate few four to five videos or plus even plus i'm not uh, i'm not aware of that how much credits are available free at this moment Mm, so you log in on to runway ml so here you go you upload your image you are on gen 3 alpha turbo model and then just select this option this is a new one actually this has just been released two three days before from the day today and uh, here you have this camera small icon on this this is the camera control completely you just want to don't know any idea about how to move or something there is a lot of presets here like close up dolly like zoom in, in dolly out and orbit left what is orbit left is something completely rotating on the subject so here our car is our subject the red 911 porsche and gd3 uh, you can just rotate it on the object and even even crane up and crane down though so these are another presets which is available so here i'm not using these presets if you use the presets there are a lot of uh, chance to be more accurate but i'll just explain what is this camera control is like so horizontal is something which you can move towards exactly without any pan we can directly move our camera without like this if you use your camera like moving like this something and on the right and the left and the pan is something which is what takes your camera or phone see for example what can i show you i don't have the phone okay cool so you have holding the camera right here see i will take this book so you are holding this book as a your camera and the pan is it is something something like this it moves like this so it the camera is like this pointing out so it's focusing on the subject like this so the horizontal is something like goes like this and this and the panning is something which is rotated like this i'm just this is just basic steps of camera i'm just explaining this because there will be people who 
don't understand what is panning what is zoom sorry he's of course you guys know zoom what is tilt and what is roll so vertical is something which goes up and down and then you use tilt option tilt is something which do like this and this here the pan is something like this and tilt is something like this hope you guys got it and zoom is something zooming in and then you go to roll roll is something which is rotating like this i think they could have kept rotate or something yeah this is the roll so here i'm gonna uh, just clear this doll and if you guys want to know more about this use this info button it will show how more details on how the camera like uh, like if you go more it is intense it is medium it is soft so those kind of stuff here and i'm just using this um orbit left so you the uh, runway automatically add some prompt onto it so you just the what is your subject my subject is a car and what the car should be doing i want it to be stationary so as car as static uh you could say and you need to be a little more specific or else it will definitely don't won't understand what we are prompting it like car do not move so just add it like you can even try with more and more prompts just just few to be more precise for your video and i'm here generating five seconds because the orbit to I just want five seconds because it will be really quick moment so i'm just generating it let's see what happens will i get good results on the first generation so it will take up to nearly one two minute maximum runway is very fast i would say like the best ai generation tool till now as comparing to other other um other ai generation sorry other video generation tools runway is a bit good comparing to other mm, on the quality wise as well like cling is also there still but the control moments are really good here so let's see what it comes up with so this is it guys the video has been generated it's been almost literally one minute so let's see how it oh yeah this is cool this is pretty cool see the object still is on the center and uh, it's moving orbit so this is really crazy stuff you know like nowadays the generation is like pretty mind-blowing so just imagine what you can do with the next six months and this ai runway or other AI video generation tool will be so super powerful so this is really cool i'll try from my own um not from the presets something i wanted like this so you show it so that the object is here so it should be here like this so it should be more tilted so i've been into more intense camera panning and horizontal stuff if you want to zoom i will just zoom as well so so this is my jaw like last generation for the testing so let's do this as well so this has been even quicker than one minute so let's see what's oh cool so since we did the zoom thing it's going too zoomed to the object pretty cool right so you just have to just tweak the vertical animation or vertical roll or tilt why don't we just tweak it the stuff just tweak till you satisfy and that's a key so you'll get exactly what you want on the moment so that's it now uh, thank you for watching this video i really appreciate your time this is something I hope you guys learned something new today and this is way behind this has been a quick tutorial but this is so much powerful i know that because people are craving for the camera control and uh, create without limits you can use any kind of subject even you even any car any any object anything so thanks for watching again
please don't forget to subscribe and press play button so that you will get notified next time thank you so much